Good evening. It is five minutes past 8 p.m. and I'm going to do the Bible in one year. I haven't recorded any since Saturday. <laughs> so it's now Wednesday. I just dropped a tag on the floor, but never mind. Uh, yes, Saturday I did 207. So this evening I'll do Bible in one year, day 208. It'll be all of Titus. There's no separation between the chapters. It's very short, short well, short-ish. And Isaiah 12. And finally, the Gospel of Matthew 12, verses 38 to 50. So I will begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. An act of contrition. You might not be able to hear, I've not had the microphone in front of me. Sorry. It's a good thing I haven't started reading the Holy Scripture. <laughs> oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because of your just punishments, but most of all, because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasions of sin. And a prayer to the, my guardian angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrusts me here ever this night be at my side to light and guard to rule and guide amen and we pray for our faithful departed eternal rest grant to them O lord and let perpetual light shine upon them may they rest in peace amen before reading sacred scripture Open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. Salutation is the heading. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to further the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth which accords with godliness in hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised ages ago and at the proper time manifested in his word through the preaching with which I have been entrusted by the command of God our Saviour. To Titus, my true child, in a common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus, our Saviour. The next title is Titus in Crete. This is why I left you in Crete, that you might amend what was defective and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. If any man is blameless, 
the husband of one wife and his children are believers and not open to the change of being profligate or insubordinate for a bishop as God's steward must be blameless he must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain but hospitable a lover of goodness master of himself, upright, holy and self-controlled. He must hold firm to the sure word as taught so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to confute those who contradict it. For there are many insubordinate men empty talkers and deceivers, especially the circumcision party. They must be silenced since they are upsetting whole families by teaching for base gain what they have no right to teach. One of themselves, a prophet of their own, said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This testimony is true, therefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, instead of giving heed to Jewish myths or to commands of men who reject the truth. To the pure, All things are pure, but to the corrupt and unbelieving, nothing is pure. Their very minds and consciences are corrupted. They profess to know God, but they deny him by their deeds. They are detestable, disobedient unfit for any good deed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Titus chapter 2 and the heading is Teach Sound Doctrine But as for you, teach what befits sound doctrine. Bid the older men be temperate Serious, sensible, sound in faith, in love and in steadfastness. Bid the older women likewise to be reverent in behaviour, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good. And so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be sensible, chaste, domestic, kind and submissive to their husbands, that the word of God may not be discredited. Likewise, urge the younger men to control themselves. Show yourself in all respects a model of good deeds and in your teaching show integrity, gravity and sound speech that cannot be censored so that an opponent may be put to shame having nothing evil to say of us. Bid slaves to be submissive to their masters and to give satisfaction in every respect. They are not to be refractory nor to pilfer, 
but to show entire and true fidelity, so that in everything they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Saviour. For the grace of God has appeared for the salvation of all men, training us to renounce irreligion and worldly passions and to live sober, upright and godly lives in this world, awaiting our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity and to purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things, exhort and reprove all with all authority. Let no one disregard you. The word of the Lord. A reading from Titus chapter 3 and the title is Maintain Good Deeds. Remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for any honest work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarrelling, to be gentle and to show perfect courtesy toward all men. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by men and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Saviour appeared, he saved us, not because of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit which he poured out upon us richly <coughs> excuse me sorry through Jesus Christ our savior so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life the saying is sure i desire you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to good deeds. These are excellent and profitable to men, but avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions and quarrels over the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. As for a man who is factious, after admonishing him once or twice, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is perverted and sinful. He is self-condemned. Final messages and benediction. When I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to speed Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing and let our people learn to apply themselves in good deeds 
so as to help cases of urgent need and not to be unfruitful. All who are with me send greetings to you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now I have to turn back, I believe, to Isaiah. No, uh, let me just check the, the way it's written here. Yeah, Isaiah 12. And then I have to go forward again to um, Matthew. So let me get this right. It is only Isaiah 12. It's not very long. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, and the title is Thanksgiving and Praise. You will say, in that day, I will give thanks to thee, O Lord, for though thou wast angry with me, thy anger turned away, and thou didst comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted, sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now I can move forward to Matthew. A reading from the book of Matthew 12 verses 38 to 50. The title of this is The Sign of Jonah. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees said to him, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, an evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The next title, The Return of the Unclean Spirit. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, he passes through waterless places, seeking rest, but he finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. 
and when he comes, he finds it empty, swept and put in order. Then he goes and brings with him seven other spirits, more evil than himself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man becomes worse than the first. So shall it be also with this evil generation. The title now is The True Kindred of Jesus. While he was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brethren. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. I'm going to finish with a short scripture because I plan to do, I'll upload this and I'll do another day because towards the end of this week I'll be recording less uh, because I'm going to a Latin Mass Saturday morning so that means Friday I'll probably be doing much less because I have to go somewhere to stay the night because there's no trains. <laughs> I have to catch a bus in the morning. I'm not very good in the mornings. And um, when I come back on Saturday, I will record, of course. But it won't be more than the daily mass readings. And hopefully, I'll be able to do another Stations of the Cross if I find another different one. I've got various prayer books and things. That I've probably got different style or wording. So, after reading sacred scripture, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet, and a light to my path. Amen. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may put to death all sinful thoughts and actions Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may live as God's child. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may be free from slavery to sin. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may pray and cry out, Abba, Father. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may possess the inheritance of grace that awaits me. Amen. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening or day. God bless.